Thanks for joining us. Here's a look at our Sandia Peak time lapse. You can see those cumulus clouds starting to bubble up. Some of them dropping some rain, but the real activity has been in the southwestern part of the state. Let's take a look at those conditions right now. A flash flood warning for Grant County, east of Silver City. We're seeing a lot of lightning and very heavy downpours. So if you do see a flooded Arroyo stream or roadway, do not cross it. It's been a very busy day in the southwestern part of the state, and once again, it will uh, be the same way for tomorrow. We'll get into that in a second. Also, storms lining up nicely uh, southwest of Grants and south of Gallup. Black Rock seeing some heavy rain and some lightning. We've had some pretty big storms, too, crossing the I-25 corridor near Los Lunas and Berlin. And here in the metro, we've had a couple of storms sneaking in. We haven't had some widespread activity like we were wanting, but some lightning and brief downpours out of this. We will continue with scattered storms through the evening hours and then starting to die off tonight. And we've had a busy day as well in the Jemez and Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Flash flood warning until 6 p.m. over the Los Conchas burn area where we have had some heavy rain. We could see some debris issues coming down those scarred canyons. Northeast New Mexico, a whole lot of lightning. West of Clayton, those storms kind of taking a southerly trek. And as we get into tomorrow, we're going to be dealing with uh, storms once again. Pretty dry, though, in the eastern part of the state, and that's going to be the story for most of the week. So afternoon storms are set up for Monday. Areas that will be favored, you'll see here in green, heavy rain possible once again in the southwestern part of the state, especially areas that did have fires, so flooding will be a concern. Also, once again, in the northern mountains, we could see some flooding. The Las Contras burn area, the Pacheco fire, and then also up in Raton where we had the track fire. So things will be keeping an eye on for you as we get into your Monday. As we get into the middle of the week, we're going to see our high pressure wobble back and forth, and that's our main moisture delivery system. A weak low disturbance will clip through the northeastern part of the state, and certain models are throwing a whole lot of rain down in the northeast by the time we get to Thursday. So we will have to wait and see, hopefully getting a little bit more moisture to the east, but it's looking like it's going to be fairly dry for the eastern plains, unfortunately. Here's what you can expect for Albuquerque. 92 with an isolated chance for a thunderstorm for tomorrow afternoon. Not that great of a chance for us throughout the week, but each day we could see a storm drifting off of the mountains into valley locations. 86 degrees right now. Winds are south at 15 miles per hour around the state. Not too bad. You can see cooler temperatures in the northern mountains where we do have extra cloud cover and rain coming down. Same story in the southwest at 77 in Silver City. 100 degrees in Carlsbad. We're going to get to the hundreds once again uh, in the southeastern part of the state toward the middle of the week. For the northwest, we're looking at 94 in Farmington, 89 in Durango. Better coverage for storms for the four corners as we get into the start of the week. We'll hang on to the wet weather for the next few days and then start to kind of ring things out toward the end of the week. Temperatures are going to pretty much stay place in place uh, with about a 94 degree high throughout the week in Farmington. 81 in Silver City tomorrow. Heavy rain once again for the southwest, especially in the mountain areas. We could see hail as well with these storms, so please be careful. Seven-day forecast shows four days of wet weather in Silver City. Temperatures starting to climb and then while so uh, put it back, back to a slight chance of thunderstorms instead of that heavy rain as we were expecting, as we are expecting for tomorrow. 100 in Artesia tomorrow, 101 in Carlsbad. Isolated storms, the mountains will be favored, the Sacramento Mountains. And we're going to have real spotty chances for storms in Roswell. Not that great of a shot. And pretty warm temperatures as well, hovering in the upper 90s to low 100s throughout the week. Northeast New Mexico, partly cloudy with scattered thunderstorms tomorrow. 95 in Clayton, 86 in Las Vegas, 80 in Mora. Seven-day forecast looks like this. A few wet days ahead for Las Vegas. And then we'll kind of thin things out a little bit and then ramp up the moisture once again for the rest of the week. In the northern mountains, scattered thunderstorms could see some heavy rain. Flooding will be a concern in those fire burn areas. Temperatures about 88 degrees throughout the week for Santa Fe. And we'll see little fluctuation in those temperatures and chances for rain pretty much each day throughout the week. 91 in Tierras, partly cloudy with scattered thunderstorms for tomorrow. Here in the Duke City, we're looking about a high of 93 degrees, 94 in Berlin. Scattered thunderstorms um, in the metro generally as far is downtown Albuquerque. Albuquerque, uh, it's going to be very spotty activity. It's going to be type of situation where something starts in the Manzanos and then rolls right in. Okay, thank you, Ian. Here's a look at tonight's primetime lineup here on KRQE. 60 Minutes is coming up next. Big brother.